Hello and welcome to the Phone Burner Training. This is the Don't Be Complicated Training Series and I'm your host Jeff Osnes. If you want to reach out to me, feel free to send me an email to jeff at phoneburner.com. And today's topic, we're going to talk about the My Team page for admins. First off, let me give you a quick little overview of the page you're looking at right now. This is the My Team tab within your admin account. When you first load this page, you're going to see only your active seats. If you'd like to see all your seats or you just your suspended seats, you can click on the little drop-down menu right here and you'll be able to switch your views. To the right of your team, you're going to see the summary section. The summary section will show you the total number of seats you have access to, how many seats you're currently using, and the total number of seats that are available. Now as long as you have available seats, you'll be able to click this button to add any new users or activate a new user in your account. Now above the summary section, you're going to see this little gear wheel. This little gear wheel, when you click on it, will bring up a menu that will get you to your reports, your team settings, the account information section, as well as the ability to add more seats to your account. Now before we dive into any of that stuff, let's talk about the My Team section right here. So right now I'm showing all users, active and suspended. If I wanted to unsuspend a user, I can click on the Edit button, and this will bring me to the Edit Seat section. Here I can delete the seat, I can reactivate the seat or go back. So if I click reactivate, that seat becomes active again and is, and is now using up one of my seats. From here I can log into the individual seat so I can make any adjustments to that seat settings. I can resend the invite which would send the username and password to that account. I can then suspend or delete the seat. I can also adjust this seat's ability to export contacts, delete contacts, record calls, delete recorded calls, and use the local ID feature if I have that enabled. So if I need to update the name, email address, or username, including the password for any one of my users, I can do that from this page here. Let's go back to our seats. Now that I've reactivated that seat, you'll see that my used seats is now up to six, and I have 14 available. In addition to being able to edit a seat, I can click on the Login button, and log into any one of my user accounts, and make any adjustments and then I can quickly return to the admin account by clicking on the return button. Now let me show you how easy it is to add a new seat. So I'm going to click on the add seat button. When adding a new seat I'm creating the user information for this account that's about to become active on the system. So I need to give it a name, an email address, there's a temporary password created by the system so you don't need to worry about that and it can be changed at any time. Now before I activate this seat I can also adjust some of the user settings such as the ability for that user to export or delete contacts, record calls, delete recorded calls, or use the local ID feature. Once I've made all of the selections that I need to make, I go ahead and click the Submit button. This seat has now been activated in my account, and at this point I can continue to edit the seat if I still need to, or I can go back to my team. Now let's explore some of the options in the gear wheel. So I'm going to click on the little gear wheel menu, and let's go to Reports. From the report section, I can run a report for any date range. All I need to do is choose the start date and end date for the report. Then I hit Submit. The system will then run the report for that date range for all of my active users. At this point, I get a bird's eye view of all of my users and their activity. How many dial sessions they've done, how many dials they made, how many people they talked to, and the amount of time they spent on the phone with those contacts. If I'd like to get more details, I can click on the dial sessions for any one of those users, and that will take me in to view all of the dial sessions for that date range. From here, I can click on the details for any one of these dial sessions. I can see the details of everything that happened during that dial session, and if I had call recording enabled during that dial session, I'd be able to review those recordings from here. Also from within this dial session, I can export the dial session itself as a CSV file or as a zip file including the recordings. If I go back to the summary page before, I can export multiple sessions at once as either CSV files or zip files with the recordings. And so that's a basic overview of reports. So let's jump over to the settings section. The settings page right now has two options, your access mode and your usage mode. As an admin, if you're set to full access, that means you would be using one of your seats as well as being an admin account. Now if you're not going to be making calls as an admin, you can convert to admin only and that will free up one of your seats within your account. Now if you are an admin and you need to make calls, 
make sure that you enable full access as an unlimited account so that you can make calls from your admin account. Now the access mode option has to do with how your data is managed within the accounts. The networked account option allows each seat within the team to access the database of the admin account. So it becomes a shared database between all the users. Standalone mode sets up each seat with their own contact manager or database. So everybody's segmented off with their own group of contacts to manage and organize and keep track of. And so that's a basic overview of the settings section. The next option is the account information. Account information is just going to give you an overview of your account. Total number of seats, how many are used, the number of available seats, including your billing details. From the account information section, you can click on Add More to increase the number of seats you have access to. Or if you'd like to add more seats, you can do that from the gear wheel by going to the Add More Seats. Giving yourself access to more seats through Phone Burner is very simple. You just grab the little slide bar here and you move it until you find the total number of seats that you need. As you adjust this, you will see your price per month get adjusted. You'll also see the discount that you're receiving based off the total number of seats that you have. Once you've determined the total number of seats that you need, you click the Upgrade button and your account will be updated and you'll be billed a new amount on your next billing date. Now let's go back to the Add More Seats page. If you need to add more than 50 seats to your account, please do contact us at support by either emailing or calling in so we can help you get that updated. Now that's a quick overview of the team section within your admin account. Now real quickly, let me run down the pricing for Phone Burner. Um, if you're an individual account, it's $149 a month for the unlimited or $67.50 a month for 7.5 hours of usage. And for our teams, we offer discounts based off the total number of users that you have. So the more seats you have, the more you're going to save. Now, if you don't have a phone burner account, you need to go out and get your phone burner account today. You can do that by going to phoneburner.biz and happy dialing.